about questions you guys may have for us. And I'm always being asked questions all the time. We're all being asked questions all the time about relationships. Not saying that we're experts, but we can tell you what works for us. Yeah, we were surprised to see that uh, the last couple's video we did on uh, YouTube had a lot of good, you know, response. And a lot, a lot of shares. Of things and a lot of shares. Yeah. So, you know, we're going to try it. We're going we're gonna to keep doing what works. We're going to keep giving you guys our best. Yeah, and... Um, again, we're not saying that we're experts, but we're gonna give, we're gonna tell you what works for us, and maybe you can implement it in your relationship, and hopefully that um, you guys are is able to work for you guys. We are all about Absolutely. promoting healthy relationships. Absolutely. Um, so we're gonna get right to it with the questions. There's a couple of them. This may be a two-part video because there's a couple of them. So um, the first question is, uh, uh, how to deal with a spouse's continuous disrespect, cheating and then talking about you to his family. But you want to stay because there was once a great love between you two and now you are pregnant. Well, now I am pregnant, that's what he says. And I think the first thing to, to talk about when, when you see something like this or when you hear, you know, disrespect, specifically in that family, family yeah. you know, that, that hurts. To me, I think that hurts a lot because that, that should be where he's bringing you up, you know, so it really hurts. It's a below the belt. Not, not so. only that, but the thing is when he forgives you or you guys get back together and everything is good his family's never gonna forget the things that he said yeah. about you yeah. and so that's the hard part so the answer that i think that you guys the communication needs to be open you yeah. guys need to have a sit down and say hey what are we doing because you can't go based on what you guys used yeah. to have your love is supposed to grow it's not supposed to go backwards Absolutely. it's supposed to you know it's supposed to go up it's supposed to increase not to decrease yeah. and, I, and, I, and i think going forward um if, if we can get over this hump here, which is a very high hump, but I think yeah. going forward, what needs to happen is anytime you have a situation where you get disrespected, there needs to be a communication or there needs to be some sort of confrontation. I'm not saying a negative confrontation, but there needs to be some way of you telling him, hey, this was not right. Because yes. most people don't realize that they're doing it. Most people don't, they weren't raised like us. Like, you see me, I have my Haitian you said, queen. You said raised like us. Yeah, I have my Haitian <laughs> queen over there. That's my Pickles right here. Haitian peak is, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, that's my preference. I I chose to go with a Haitian woman because I know my culture, my morals are so different. We're not degrading anybody. No, 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 just for me, it's just my personal preference based even off if, of what I was taught and so on. But even if, you know, yeah. even if you guys are not um, both Haitian or mm -hmm. American, whatever the case is, um, you guys have to talk about what, what your morals are. What do you guys consider a relationship? What do you guys consider a marriage? Because Absolutely. what you, you know, what he may consider marriage may not be what I consider as a marriage. You know what I'm saying? So those are talks that you guys should have had yeah. prior to, but it's never. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's too late, but you can still have those. You know, those those, those conversations. Marriage counseling may be something you guys want to look into. Yeah. Um, we actually do counseling now. Um, again, like I said, we're not experts because no one knows everything about marriage. This is something that you just have to live through. Um, but we are offering that now, and I'll give that information at the end of the video. Yeah. But, yeah, you guys need to have a sit down yeah. and definitely um, see what's going on and if this relationship is, is worth keeping, yeah. to be honest. We hate to hear divorce. We hate to hear about breaks up, break up. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if you're being disrespected, there's no love there. Because at the end of the day, you only get to die with love. You don't get to die with anything yeah. else that's material. So that's the answer for that one. And we're moving on to the next question. Yeah. Uh, well, before we move along, I would like to say one last thing. <laughs> if ever he's, he, he ever does anything to you that you, you don't appreciate, whether it's disrespectful, um, I would say find a good time to sit down and talk to him and let him know, hey, you know, this was... This hurt my feelings. I yeah. didn't appreciate that. Do it at the right time, not at the wrong time. Don't wait till you're arguing to bring that up. Try to do it, you know, during a positive moment. You know, it doesn't mean that you're bringing bad vibes to the moment, but it means that you're, you're, calm, you're, yeah, I'm yeah, you're creating a setting for you guys to have more communication and for you guys to, you know, express how you feel. So 
always choose to do that at the right time so that way he's able to be receptive to it correct and he's able to take it and he's able to be constructive with it right. and that's the way i think you uh, are yeah, when, you, when you're arguing you're not listening you're yeah. just waiting to respond yeah. Okay, so, screaming to get mad. And it gets worse. Right, look, I gotta go. <laughs> get, get started. We love you guys. No, 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 no. We love you guys.